रिस्पेक्टेड स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक एवरी वन सो टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट द टॉप थ्री इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विच वेर आस इन कॉग्निजेंट कंपनी एंड दीज क्वेश्चन वेर शेयर बाय वन ऑफ आवर सब्सक्राइबर ऑन इंस्टाग्राम सो दिस टॉप थ्री क्वेश्चन आई एम गोइंग टू टेक दीज क्वेश्चन और फॉर द कैंडिडेट हैविंग टू प्लस इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस ओके सो ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन डिटेल वाइज आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन but before starting the video make sure if you are new on our channel to subscribe the channel and press bell icon for all upcoming videos and follow us on social media, social media especially instagram so the first question was like when you are working on a power bi project or report how you make sure whether the data is accurate which is shown in your power bi report okay so there are total 3 to 4 ways properly to check whether the data is accurate uh, which is shown in that report so the first way is uh, like let's say you have created one kpi which is showing total sales as 10000 rupees so whatever your data source is there whether it is sql or snowflake or azure databricks or any other you write a query there okay in your data source you write a query like select some of that particular column from table and if your sql is also showing 10000 and if your power bi report is also showing 10000 na so you have validated that number with the source and then it is 100% correct if the uh, at the both the way it is showing same this i have shown i have told you for the basic kpi let's say if little bit advanced kpi is there so just uh, left join we are applying left join right join whatever as per the condition and their query we are writing so the answer for it is like we validate that with the source properly also one document is created by qa engineer or even bi developer also create this is the first way second way is that to check whether the refresh like scheduled refresh is there uh, mostly if indian projects are there and then at morning the scheduled refresh is there for other uh, client if afternoon evening we do scheduled refresh to check whether the scheduled refresh was successfully done or not properly okay so these are the two ways and the third way is that to check the data type okay like sales column is there date column is there to check the data type of that particular date whether the data type is correct or not if the data type is not correct with the data source like if in power query whole number is showing and in their data source different data type is there definitely it will give issue in my personal experience i am telling from my personal projects okay these are the three ways to check whether the to check the data accuracy of your power bi reports so the second question second question is that how to handle the missing data in your power bi report so see to check the missing data whenever you fetch the view store procedure or table from your backend so the first thing what you should do the best practice is that go for every column there is one option known as data profiling in which column quality option is there in power query so always thoroughly check the column quality option for every column especially for fact table i am telling okay this is the best way to check how many null or blank values are there first thing second thing is even with the dax like uh, count blank is there colex is there if is there you can check properly the uh, dax for uh, whether the blank it is showing for not okay and the third thing also the third thing is that you can check whether the uh, blank is showing due to some conditions like uh, whether the join was applied or not you can check and some of the options are there like fill up fill down you can use and the most important is that the blank you can replace with the zero also make sure like you can connect with the business analyst or whatever your uh, bi understanding is that from that if you can replace it with the zero then also it is fine not an issue okay so these are the some of the ways like uh with the dax colex if count blank okay with fill up fill down you can do and many more things are there this is these are the basic ways you can handle the missing data the third question which was asked to that candidate was that how to uh, check whether if unusual trends are showing in your power bi report okay like last week you were using a power bi report which was showing normal all the numbers and now unusual trends or any big number or any small number is showing so how to check that or how you will handle that situation the first thing is that always check modeling whether the existing relationships which were there like especially active relationships whether they are correct or not how to check that you should always check with your backup pbi report every day we do backup of the report we upload on sharepoint or confluence or at least La, uh, 
in every two days we do the backup and upload on sharepoint so always check first modeling the second way to check is that check the filters of slices whether it are applied or not properly you can check on category region you can drill down properly on uh, important dimension to check the filters and slicers okay the third thing is you should always go to power query and some of the few etl steps which are there like joins append and unpivot or pivot that you have to check properly whether those are correct or not okay so these are the three four ways and the dax which was written like uh whether the dax or any other developer have changed it or not or due to data type change also a uh, few dax automatically changes due to that data type especially of in the date and time and time intelligence dax function so these are the three four ways to check like whenever the unusual trends are showing in your power bi report how to handle those okay so these were the three questions like unusual trends how to handle missing data and uh, how how to make sure whether your data is accurate or not so these were the three questions i have told you thoroughly properly make sure uh, whether these questions are asked in the uh, interview make sure you are giving it properly okay so thanks for watching till end and if you are having any doubt make sure to comment that i will reply within one hour to you thank you everyone